on two-step word problems involving money today. Let's get started. All right, so our first question says, DW is at a baseball game, and he buys a bag of popcorn that costs 98 cents and a hot dog for $2.25. He gives the cashier a $5 bill. What will his change be? Now remember, all of these are two-step word problems. That's the title of this lesson is two-step word problems involving money. So I'd like you to stop the video. I'd like you to press pause, and I'd like you to try and figure this out for yourself. And I want you to remember, we have to figure out how much he's spending, and then we are ultimately trying to figure out the change based on the fact that he gave the cashier a $5 bill. All right, pause the video, try and figure it out, and then come back for the result. All right, welcome back, guys. So we're going to go ahead and we need to find out how much DW is spending. So we need the total cost. To find that out, we need to add up the items that he bought. Well, he bought two items, a bag of popcorn for 98 cents. There's no dollars on that one, so we're going to make it 98 cents, plus a hot dog for $2.25. And we want to figure out what that equals. So you could do this a number of different ways. You could uh, say that this is two cents away from a dollar and you could add a dollar to 225 and that would give you 325 and you know that this is two cents so then we'd have to take off the two cents. We could solve it that way. We could stack it and add it. So I could go 98 cents plus $2.25 and eight plus five is 13. We're gonna regroup that one. One plus nine is 10 plus two more is 12. We're gonna put that two down and we regroup our one, but don't forget your decimal. One plus two is three, so it'd be $3.23. Um, I'll show you how I would do it in my mind. I would say, oh, this is two cents away uh, from a dollar. So if I add the two cents and then I say $1 plus 225, that would give me 325, but then I have to subtract that two cents and I'll get $3.23, which is the same as what we got over here. So he spent $3.23. And we know he gave the cashier a $5 bill. So now I want to know what the change is. So I've got to figure that out. So if I, he gave a $5 bill and he is only spending $3.23, we need to do a subtraction problem and find out what the change is. Okay, so then I can do that several ways like I showed you before. I could add two cents, make this $3.25. That would be $3.25. And then I could say $3.25 plus 75 cents gets us to $4. And then $4 plus uh, one more dollar gets us to $5. And that would be a way of counting up from $3.23 to $5. And this is the amount of change. So I would add it up. One dollar plus plus seventy five cents plus two cents, and I would get one dollar and seventy seven cents would be the change. I could stack it and subtract that way. Regrouping, I could say five becomes a four, zero becomes ten. I'm going to borrow one becomes a nine, and that one becomes a ten. Ten minus three is seven. Nine minus two is seven, and four minus three is one. Okay, we got that amount. I could use the subtract uh, one penny trick. And then it becomes $4.99 minus $3.23. And nine minus three is six, nine minus two is seven, four minus three is one. And then we need to make sure we add in that one more penny and we'll get $1.77. So I have gotten $1.77 
every single way that I did it. So I'm going to be pretty confident in my answer that the change is going to be $1.77 after he gives her the $5 bill. All right, let's look at another example. Brian buys two pieces of candy. Each piece of candy costs $1.12. If he gives the cashier a $10 bill, what will his change be? Well, let's see. He's buying two pieces of candy. Each one costs $1.12. That's going to be the first part is to figure out the total cost. And that is going to get um, tell us how much he's spending. And then we know that he's giving the cashier a $10 bill. So we want to know what his change will be. So our ultimate question is, what will the change be? So I'm trying to figure out the change. So, but first I need to figure out the total cost. So let's go back. He buys two pieces of candy. Each one is $1.12. We could say that this is the same as two groups of $1.12, but we have not figured, we have not learned how to multiply decimals. So we are not going to worry about that today. So $1.12 plus $1.12, I could stack them if I want and add them that way. 2 plus 2 is 4. 1 plus 1 is 2. Bring down your decimal. And 1 plus 1 is 2. So his total cost is $2.24. Now, we know how much, oops, we need a dollar sign. We know how much his total cost is right here. That's how much the candy costs. We also know that he's going to give the cashier a $10 bill. So we know he's, uh, total cost, we're going to call that TC, is $2.24. And he's giving uh, a $10 bill. And we want to know the change. That's what we don't know. So my equation would be $10 minus $2.24. And then I'm going to come up with some amount of change. And I don't mean change like the change in your pocket that rattles around. I mean like when you buy something, the cashier gives you change after you pay. And that's the kind of change we are talking about. So I'm going to show all three ways. I'm going to start with counting up because that's my preferred way. Um, I like my brain to do the math on its own without writing it down sometimes. So I like to, you know, work out my brain. So $2.24, I'm going to go ahead and add that penny to make it $2.25 because remember I use that because quarters are easier to deal with than a bunch of loose change. So then I'm going to add my 75 cents and that gets me to $3. And then I'm trying to get to $10. So I know that 3 plus 7 gives me 10. So $3 plus $7 would be $10. And then this part in the middle here is what my change is. So if I add that up, 1 plus 5 is 6, 0 plus 7 is 7, decimal, and 7. So my change is going to be $7.76. But I'm going to check my work. So I'm going to say, okay, $10 minus $2.24. Well, I think I'm going to use that minus one penny trick. And that's going to give me $9.99 minus $2.24. And I'm going to go ahead and subtract. 9 minus 4 is 5. 9 minus 2 is 7. Bring down my decimal. 9 minus 2 is 7. But don't forget, we subtracted a penny, so now we got to add that penny back in. We'll get $7.76, which is what we got when we counted up. So there we go. Let's try it one more way. Let's do our $10.00 minus $2.24. We can go ahead and regroup. This becomes a zero. This will become 10, but we're going to borrow from it. So it's a nine. This will become a 10, but we're borrowing from it. So it becomes a nine. And then this becomes a 10. We're not going to change that to a nine because nobody needs to borrow from the ones column. I mean, from the hundreds column, because now we're dealing with decimals. 10 minus four is six. Nine minus two is seven. 9 minus 2 is 7, and 0 minus nothing. So you can see I got $7.76 each time. And this is what our change would be. Our change will be $7.76 
after we give a $10 bill when the total cost is $2.24. And that is two-step word problems involving money.